the time has come for you to succeed for you to stand tall for you to understand that you got a mission and your mission is not done yet every day it's not going to be a good day but every day is a blessed day because you are above the ground you are walking tall there is no time for sorrow because misery has no place in your life the mind is a powerful weapon because no matter what's happening your mind does matter and if you put the wrong things inside of your mind the best things won't come out the best of you won't show up do you feel that all you know is sorrow why do you allow misery to handcuff you to chain you down resurrect yourself from the pit of darkness because misery doesn't have the right to control your life when the rest of the world says no to you you say yes to yourself you say yes I believe you say yes I can do it you say yes nothing can stop me there's no time to give up this is the opportunity be greater than your fears be stronger than your doubts make your mind matter misery it will continue to do all that is necessary to succeed misery is on a mission to take everything away from you because your mind is very powerful bring in the goodness moving with a purpose conditioning your mind is what this is about today is that day and when and if tomorrow comes for you be even more powerful be stronger than you've ever been rectify in yourself believe in yourself keep that faith in yourself don't let the outside interference stop your growth don't let those that doubted you and said that you did not have it hold you back don't let the losses keep you down because if you're down how would you understand what it means to get up what is good about being miserable what is misery doing for you what has misery done for you lately has it given you everything that you need has it made you a better person your mind your abilities your faith within yourself is all that you need the steps that you take in your life it's a process within itself it won't be easy but you don't deserve easy easy is not something that you should be looking for embrace all of the challenges that are necessary but you continue to fight forward you continue to believe in yourself how do we allow ourselves to elevate the game to go higher than we've ever gone before how 
do we escape from the misery? The joy is what we seek. The joy of living. The joy of pursuing. The joy of believing. Are you ready to succeed? Are you prepared to move forward? Make it count. Be productive. Be powerful. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. There are many battles that we all face in life. Certain circumstances will come into your life. And these battles that we must face has different stories connected to it. These battles that we face each and every day of our lives has many things and many circumstances that sometimes we just don't feel that we're prepared for. But we must find a way. We must find a way and an understanding that this thing that we are dealing with right now in our lives is only temporary. It's temporary and it will not last forever. You must realize that you must grow enough tenacity within yourself to press on. We are all going to face many battles in our lives. And some of these battles we will not always win. But we must have the winning attitude. Regardless if we fall down, regardless if the struggle is so hard, Regardless if we get pushed back a few steps, we must continue to press on. We must disconnect ourselves and stop being prisoners to the sadness, to the weakness, to the fear, to the doubt. And we must become strong. We must become something unique. We must put on that suit of armor and prepare ourselves for battle. Yes, every battle cannot be won. But the winning attitude to not give up is more than enough to carry on. The places that you will go in your life. The places that you have been in your life. You have seen things that others do not understand. You have been through things that others will never be able to go through on their own. And this is what makes you special. This is what makes you unique. And this is what makes you stand out. But you are not out. You are not out of the fight. You must continue to press. Press on and fight with everything you have. These days and times have been so challenging. So many people have given up. So many people have given up so much of themselves. They have disconnected themselves from the reality that they are unique, that they are special, that they are blessed with this life. Life is beautiful and you must be able to hold on to it for as long as you can because it will not last forever. If you're holding on to stress, disconnected if you're holding on to fear disconnected if you're holding on to sorrows if you're holding on to weakness 
disconnected. That relationship that you are in right now may not be working out. But that doesn't mean that you can't get out and resonate yourself. Get your mind and your body in the right place. Work on you. Don't try to fix others. Focus on your opportunities. Focus on who you are as an individual. You can't save the world, but you can definitely make a difference. But make sure you make the difference within you. Because as long as you are leading the path, the right ones will walk with you. They will follow you. They will stand with you. They will break bread with you. So you must continue to believe. You must continue to understand that on this day, on this hour, this is your day and your time is now. Hold on tight and don't let go. Focus on what is necessary and disconnect yourself from the things that are not necessary. If you're feeling like you're going down, open up your heart and open up your mind and look up. Carry on and believe in it. For each and every day of your life is a blessing. A blessing to breathe. A blessing to walk. A blessing to do what is necessary to continue the life. And not holding on to things that's not going to get you to the level in life you want to be. Some people are not willing enough to believe in themselves. But what are you going to do? How will you make a difference? How will you stand? And how would you fight? These battles that we face each and every day of our lives, they will continue to come. And you will not win every battle. And the battles that you face will help you to get stronger. Because even if you lose a battle and you're still breathing, and you're still walking and you're still able to make moves then you still have enough fight left to carry on and on this journey while you are carrying on all of the things remember the circumstances that you had to face remember the losses remember the victims and understand that everything that you went through in your life, it had to be. It had to be this way. You may question it, but it had to be this way. You may not even understand it, but it had to be this way. Even with the mistakes that you've made in your life, yet, it had to be this way. But the mistakes that you have made, you've learned, you've grown, and you understood that you don't need to go back to that mistake again. And yes, sometimes you may make the same mistakes, but those mistakes can be even more crucial in your life. And this is why you must continue to push forward and get rid of the things that are not making you better. The battle continues. Carry on. Be productive. Be powerful. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business.
You're feeling a little tired right now, aren't you? You don't feel like you have it anymore. You're wandering around confused. Not having a sense of awareness of who you truly are inside. You have allowed all of the outside interference to dictate your destiny. You have allowed it to have more of a conversation with you and put you in a position where you're just feeling weak. And when you're feeling that particular weakness, you feel defeated. Well, I'm here to let you know right now, you're not defeated, you're just depleted. You're tired because you're human. And we all get tired from time to time. But that doesn't mean that you are defeated. You're just a little depleted. And that means you got to hit that reset button. That means you got to catch that second wind. That means you got to find that other source of power and strength to carry on. You're not defeated. You're just a little bit depleted. I stand out here in this desert. And let me tell you, this time of the year is very hot. It is so hot that you can barely even bear it. Yes, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. To stand here and to reach out to so many of you to give you the message that you may need to hear. But yet I am doing what is necessary. I'm depleted, I'm tired, but I'm not defeated because I know I got a job to do. So wherever you may be, and you're in a situation where things need to be done and people need to depend on you and work has to be done at a significant time and place, you need to carry on and do your work. You need to carry on and do your job because we all have a duty to society. We all got things that we need to do day in and day out. Being tired, feeling depleted, doesn't mean that you're dead. Maybe you got to slow down a little bit and take your time. But you still got to keep on moving. You got to still keep on working. You got to still keep on pushing forward. You can't stop now. So when things start to show up and distractions start to happen in your life, don't feel that you are defeated. Don't feel because you're down on your knees that you are defeated. Don't be submissive to things that doesn't control your life. You control your life, not things surrounding you. You have got to do better each and every day. You have got to grow stronger each and every day. You have got to stop allowing things that doesn't concern you, concern you enough to hurt you and put you down because your depletion becomes something else. Because once you feel depleted and you're not realizing that maybe I'm just a little tired but I'm not dead, but you're focusing too much on the weakness and you're thinking because you're depleted you're done, then maybe you are done. Maybe you're not truly as strong as you think you are. Maybe you don't really have that mental fortitude Maybe you just been faking the funk. Maybe you just not cut out for this. Because there's always people out there that are looking at you. 
and waiting for you to fail, waiting on you to give up. You have much more to you than you could ever imagine. Don't you dare feel that you are defeated. Because as long as there's blood flowing through your veins, you got work to do. You got business to do. We are all capable of unique things. We are all capable of greatness. We are all capable of getting the most of our lives. Why waste it? Why give in? Why make assumptions about things that shouldn't even exist in your life? Don't give in to defeat. Don't let defeat enter your mind. Don't feel that you're done. Being depleted, be depleted. Be strong every day of your life because strength is important. Weakness isn't. We're going to get tired. But we don't give in to weakness. Let weakness do what it does and then turn it up and show up and show out and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. I will not quit. I will not fail and give in to certain circumstances that doesn't give me enough ammunition to carry on. You have got to have the strongest mindset ever when quit starts to show up in your life. There are going to be certain things that you're going to have to endure in your life and sometimes failing is going to be one of them. Not everything is going to be easy for you. In fact, you do not want the word easy to even exist in your life. You have to understand the simple fact that this is just the way life is. And you must fail at times, but you do not quit. You gotta get away from excuses. You gotta stop running away from your challenges. You got to understand that there's a little bit more fight in you left if you're willing to push yourself and get the most of it. I will not quit. I've been in positions where I wanted to quit. I've been in positions where I wanted to just say, I don't have it anymore. But I will not quit because I know that there are people out there that love me, that depend on me. And I must continue to keep on fighting for it and not going backwards. I got to make it more than just about me. It's about people that matter in my life. And I got to be the head and not the tail. I got to man up and I got to do business. Ladies and gentlemen, you must understand no matter what challenges come your way, you must be willing to fight and never quit. Because quitting, you can't come back from it. It will destroy you. It will destroy your hopes and dreams. You have let everything around you destroy you and you haven't even given yourself a chance. Just because you failed, you want to quit. Just because you didn't make the cut, you want to quit. Just because somebody didn't like you today and they didn't love you tomorrow, you want to quit. You want to give up on your life and your life is yours and it doesn't belong to anyone else but you. This is when you have to recognize that the time is now. You cannot quit. You cannot give up. Those challenges that you are facing right now, let them come. If it gets difficult, let it come. If it get tough, then you gotta get tough. If that monster shows up, then you become the beast. But you cannot quit. Be strong every day of your life. Now, sometimes weakness will show up. Sometimes you get angry. Sometimes you're going to get frustrated, but you do not quit. As long as your heart is beating, you do not quit. You must continue to have the passion and the fortitude to carry on. Because your life is a significant gift and you must do everything possible to carry on. Being productive in your life rather than being destructive is the way to be. 
Don't give in. Don't give up. Don't quit. So what? It didn't work out today. Maybe tomorrow it'll work out. But wait a minute. There are no guarantees in tomorrow, right? So we need to make every second, every minute, every hour count and do what's necessary and get the job done. So if your day is not going good, hope for a better day tomorrow. And if tomorrow does come for you, then work even harder. But you better not quit. You better not give in to quit. Because quit don't love you. Quitting ain't gonna get you better. Quitting ain't gonna get you that position on your job. Quitting is not gonna get you where you wanna do in anything in life. The best people in this world, the most successful people in the world had to fail first. The strongest people in the world had to understand what it meant to be weak before they understood what it meant to be strong. So don't concern yourself about quitting. Don't give in to the word quit. Don't give in to the satisfaction and thinking that these things is gonna make it easy for you because you quit. All you're doing is just pushing yourself further back and now you gotta start over. You let everybody tell you it's okay, you should stop. Don't do it, start over. Why are you starting over? Just start up and keep going. Enough with quitting. Enough with not wanting to push yourself and get the most of your life. It's difficult, I know. Challenges are gonna come, I know. In fact, it's even more difficult for many of us because of certain circumstances that we deal with day in and day out. But we cannot quit. We must balance ourselves. We must be willing to give 110% of everything we have because all we got is what we got and what we got is what we must be willing to give. But don't give in and give up and put quit in your mind and let it destroy you. Get to work and focus on possibilities. Focus on your real truth and understand that you was created for something. You wasn't created for nothing. You can't get nothing out of nothing, but you can get everything you need out of you. So carry on, be productive in your life each and every day and tell quick to keep it moving, but you, continue to conduct your business. The greatest. Do you believe that? Do you really believe in you? Some people may not have that opportunity to believe in themselves because all their lives Many things has kept them down. The greatest. I am the greatest. The greatest of who you really are. Do you really know who you are? Can you identify yourself? Do you see yourself less? Or do you see yourself more? Do you ultimately believe in you? Or do you let others control what you are? And what they think of you? This is not the time to look down on yourself. This is the time for you to look up, to see the greatest, to see the greatness within you. Your creation has meaning. Something great brought you here. There was a purpose and there's a purpose now. And that purpose is great. 
because you exist in it. Greatness is within you. Greatness is a part of you. But to be great, you got to believe in it. Since the day you were born, greatness was already there. When you had those hard times, greatness was already there. When nobody thought that you had what it took, greatness existed. Hold on to that greatness. Believe in that greatness. And give it everything you have within yourself. How many times have you said, I know I need to do better, but you don't? How many times have you got on a scale and weighed yourself, but you wasn't happy? How many times have you pulled up those pants and they just didn't fit right? How many times have you said you could not stop eating a certain type of a food, but you kept doing it anyway? You see, my friends, that's an excuse. You're looking for a way out. You're trying to find an idea and saying, hey, it's okay for me to keep making this type of a mistake. It's okay for me to keep saying the same thing over and over. It's okay for me to sound like a broken record with a hole in it. But nevertheless, I haven't put myself in a position to change. You know you can do it, but you just don't want to do it. You figure that, hey, I'll do it on another day. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it on this day. I'll do it on this day. I know, I know, I know, I know. You know so much, but you do so little. Are you understanding that you cannot remain the same? Do you understand that you're going to have to continue to, as I like to say, evolve? Evolving to me means a lot more than just changing. Change is good, but are you changing for the right reasons? Are you in a certain position where you feel like you have to change yourself or change who you really are to please other people? That's not the type of change I'm talking about. I'm talking about for the greater good. I'm talking about being able to have the right attitude and the right mindset and the right fortitude to make a difference in your life. But you can't keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and you're not getting anywhere. You're not committed. You're not doing the right things. Instead, you keep doing the wrong things. And you're looking for someone to rescue you. You're looking for someone to put you in a position to make you feel better. It's not about me. It's not about the other people. It's about you. It's about you making a difference and you making the necessary changes to get what you want out of your life. The time is now. You can't do it tomorrow. You can't do it yesterday. You got right now. Build on that. Find a solution to your problems. Don't depend on other people to change you. Don't depend on other people to evolve you. Being different, as I've always said, is nothing wrong with being different. Stand out in the crowd. Don't be like everybody else. Don't feel that you got to belong to a group of people for people to respect you. If you don't like where you are, then you must change what you do. But not just change, start evolving. Evolve into something that's unique. Become something great. Believe in yourself and understand that it takes work and it takes an idea and you have to understand that there's gonna be some sacrifices that you must make. So when are you going to make a change? When are you going to finally realize that it's up to you? What you need to be focusing on is a better life, a better understanding, a better you. And if you're not willing to work on that, if you're not willing to change that, then how strong do you really think you will be in the rest of the life that you've been given? Greatness is good for you. Greatness means something. Greatness has understanding. So what will you do? What will you do with your greatness? Do you feel that it's being arrogant? 
Do you feel that it's being overconfident? You have to have confidence to have greatness. You have to believe in it to have greatness. You have to know that no one is like you. Your greatness means something. Why can't you believe that? Why can't you understand that? Why can't you hold on to that? Instead of holding on to negativity and doubt and fear. Why can't you understand that your greatness is beautiful? Why can't you believe it? You let everyone else tell you that you're not good and you believe it. Instead of just realizing that my greatness means something. If you're a father, are you the greatest? If you're a mother, are you the greatest? If you work for an organization, are you the greatest? Do you honestly believe that you are great? Now that doesn't mean that you're better than someone. It means that you're greater within you. You have the right to hold on to your greatness. You have the right to believe in your greatness. Why can't you just understand that you have to be the one to take the steps that are necessary to be great? So if you're not willing to put yourself in that position, if you're not willing to put yourself in a position of being great, if you don't understand what greatness is, then greatness won't be waiting for you. And one thing you got to understand about greatness, just like success, it continues to grow. It continues to move. So if you're sitting around being miserable because you don't believe in yourself, then that's your situation that you got to dig yourself out of. Greatness is within you. And understand that it's yours. It doesn't belong to anyone else. Your greatness is yours. Just believe in it. And go after it. And hold on to it. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. Lights, camera, action. How much action do you have flowing through your veins right now? How far are you willing to push yourself? Or are you the type of person that likes to sell wolf tickets? Like to fake the funk? Pretending you're doing something when you're really not? How much effort are you honestly putting into your craft? Into your ideas? Into your work? Whatever it is that you got going on in your life, what are you prepared to do? Action. Think about that for a minute. How long have you been stuck in a rut, constantly making the same mistakes over and over again? But there's nothing wrong with mistakes. But why do you keep making them? The same mistakes. Keep making yourself, putting yourself in a position where you can't go beyond those mistakes. Constantly making excuses. All you're doing is preaching. All you're doing is putting out words. But there's no action. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to put the action in. You got to be about your business. That's what life is. It's always going to be about business. Business is not a game. Business is business. And that's what your life is about. You hear people say all the time, nothing personal, it's just business. That's true. You got to bury your emotions and you got to be about your business. You got to be about the action. And if you put the action out there, then you will get a reaction. Let's just make sure that the reaction is productive and it's getting you in the position that you need to be. Action is important. Words are words. Action gets things done. Are you prepared to do that? Are you prepared to take it to the level and beyond? Are you gonna sit around and wait for someone to push you or are you gonna push yourself? Are you gonna have the right attitude to drive yourself to that level and go beyond it? Or are you going to just make excuses? That's all you hear about. Is I am not going to do or I cannot do. That's all you hear most of the times. People are too busy putting themselves in a position where they don't want to go to the next level because it's too hard. I don't think I got it. I don't think I can do it. I'm not strong enough. Better you than me. 
You and me are two different people. You're not like everyone else. You're special, I'm special, we're all special, we're all unique. But you've got to put the action to work. Do something that's gonna change something within your ideas and your mindset. Ladies and gentlemen, listen. Every single day of my life, I wake up to a new idea and what I need to do with myself. But for me and for you, there are two different paths. Everybody's gotta go in a certain direction. But if I truly want to do something with my life, if I truly want to take it to the next level, then I got to put the action out there. A lot of people are not prepared for action. A lot of people just want to sit around. Some people just want to be lazy. You can't be lazy and get action. Lazy is just standing still, being in neutral, not being able to move to the next level and go beyond it. Action is what we're looking for. Going in the direction you need to be. It takes some work. And as always, sacrifices are necessary. What are you prepared to give up? Ask yourself that. What are you prepared to put aside? How valuable is your life? And are you willing to work at it? Are you willing to dig a little bit deeper? Are you willing to bury the things that are not making you strong? The dead doesn't believe in positivity. When you're dead inside, that means there's nothing powerful coming behind it. There's nothing powerful or productive or positive. Because you're too busy being dead inside. Life. Speak it. Believe it. Stand on it. Be strong in it action make sure you're giving 110 percent of that make sure you're standing strong on it if you want to get something out of your life ladies and gentlemen keep moving don't give up on you man because there's a lot of people out there that just don't understand the significance of what it means go after it right now Focus on everything you have within your body and your mind. Do it with a full heart. Stop with the excuses. Stop holding on to things that's not going to make you better, that's not going to make you strong. Be the best of yourself. Believe in it. Stand on it. Be strong in it. And put those actions to work. Because everybody's not hungry enough. And if you're not hungry, you're not gonna satisfy yourself. And even when you feel that you're satisfied, find something else, you should never be satisfied. You should never be okay. Being okay doesn't mean that that's the right way to go. When things start to get easy, find something else that's gonna challenge you. When things start to feel like you can't carry on, find another reason to get out of that situation and find another way to go further. When people are trying to pull you down, get away from them, disconnect yourself and put the action in and go after what's necessary to make you better. It's about action. Talk is talk. People talk all the time. What are you prepared to do and how far are you willing to go? Make the most of your life. Be productive, be powerful, and from the bottom of my heart, continue to conduct your business. You have to understand it has to be a unique mindset. Setting a goal and then going beyond it. Realizing that there's work to be done. Making sure that all of the strings are attached. And make no mistake along the way. Now it's true that we all make mistakes. And we will have many setbacks. But there's always room for a comeback. You got to go through it to get to it. 
You got to understand that there are going to be many circumstances that will require your full undivided attention. You got to go through it to get to it. To understand this, you must realize that you must humble yourself, but yet be hungry enough to go after it with everything inside of you. Everything that is required depends on you. Having the mindset that regardless of anything that is around you, that is surrounding you, that is trying to drag you down, you must have the mindset. You must be strong. You must be resilient. You must be driven. And you must be able to take whatever's coming at you. If you stumble, if you fall, have the ability to get up. But you can't depend on just your body to do the work. You must understand that it's the mental fortitude that will get you through it all. So many people don't have this fortitude. They don't have this attitude. They have no faith in themselves. If you, you as the individual, can take the first step, then perhaps many more will follow. Now you don't have to wait for someone to take the steps for you. You must be willing to do it. There are many people right now that are waiting for someone to direct their path. But you are responsible for your own destiny, for your own mistakes. For this is a reality. And as long as you are living in this world, you must continue to go forward. There is no time to be wasting and waiting for something great to happen because your greatness is already there. It has always been planted within you. Now watch it grow. Water that seed right now and watch it grow. And as it grows, you shall grow in many opportunities in your life. Take the hurt sometimes. Take the setback sometimes. Even take the failures. But you don't have to accept it. You don't have to believe that this is all you are built for. You don't have to believe that this is all you are made for. For every setback, for every failure, for every mistake that you've made, it will turn you around and you will learn from it and you will grow from it. And you will continue down a path that many do not have the ability to do. This is what sets you apart. This is what makes you unique. And this will take you further than you've ever gone in your life. I highly recommend that you take a good look at yourself from the inside out and realize that you are not out of the fight, that you are born to win. Regardless of the circumstances, don't ever give up on you. Because you matter. And it is this time for you to realize that the mindset must be put in the right place. Because it's only so much time that you have. So don't waste it. Don't waste it on doubt. Don't waste it on negativity. Don't waste it on fear. Put all your effort and to being the best individual
the best makeup of who you truly are inside. So keep it moving, be productive, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. <laughs>